Yeah. All right, Stefan asks, why are unions a negative thing? And was there ever a time when they were necessary? And what would be your defense for Carnegie and Frank against those who think them moral monsters? So, uh, start with unions. I mean, first, um, I have nothing against unions. I don't think unions are necessarily a negative thing. What makes them a negative thing is the protection they gain from government. What makes them a negative thing is that they have special protections from government, which means they have a gun. For example, there's a right to strike. Why can't you fire your workers if they strike? They have no right to a job. You own the business. If you don't want to employ them anymore, why is it any of the government's business why you don't want to employ them anymore? But now we're fighting battles that we lost 100 years ago. So my objection to unions is not the union. I think there are contexts in which unions make sense and unions probably contribute to the benefit of, of certain workers and to the benefit of the industry, of the, of the enterprise as a whole. But when unions have extra protections as they do in the US and they do on steroids in Europe, then they become a destructive force because then they, they've got a gun and they can get away with stuff that is illegitimate. It's illegitimate. Um, my defense of Carnegie and Frick, I mean, my defense of Carnegie and Frick is they were giants of industry and they did amazing things and they built this country. And a lot of their mistakes, and, I, and, and they did make mistakes with regard to the way they treated labor in some circumstances, a lot of their mistakes were mistakes of ignorance, were mistakes of the, the first, capitalism is new, it's young, uh, capitalism has not been tried before, and the exact way in which best to relate to employees and best to help them organize or not help them organize or how much to pay them and how to pay them and, and the idea of company towns which was tried for a while. All of that was, was, was being experimented with. And some of these guys made mistakes. There's no question about that. But to condemn them, to condemn their productive genius, to condemn everything they achieved, to condemn them bringing us out of poverty, to condemn them bringing us out of you know, in many respects, in economic dark ages and into the light of, of the modern world, that is a massive injustice. So Carnegie and Frank are uh, heroes, even if they made mistakes when it comes to some of how they related to labor.